So after John, our guide, um, left and went home to his family, uh, we took our sleeping bags and we set them up on the living room floor. Um, and then we decided to go back upstairs for a second time. Uh, at that point, it had been the only place in the house that we really felt something strange. Is anyone willing to walk, go in there by themselves quieter. and shut the door? That's what I was thinking. thinking. I was thinking that we go, each of us go into the room, each of us go into that room by ourselves. That's true? Yeah. Hello? If there's somebody in here, give us a sign. My candle is really flickering. Is it just the air? No, there's no air in here. Excellent. What about from the draft up above? No, there's literally no air in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Jazz? Yeah. Don't fuck with it. Don't fuck with what? Don't fuck with it. Don't fuck with what? I mean, can I open the door? Yeah. What am I doing? No, 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 no. Not, like, there's zero wind outside. I know. And we are sitting here, and we feel like the house just keeps moving. There's nothing here! Oh my God. There's nothing here! and I was getting more and more motion sick um, being upstairs. And it's the weirdest feeling because you, you actually feel like you're on a boat, like the ground is moving. I started to get really sick and started to dry heave um, and started to, start to almost throw up. Um, and uh, so then we went back downstairs. So this is, the, this is the, uh, the bed that obviously the people who own this place just picked up at a antique. For all we know, everything you're looking at right now is from 1950s from a Sears catalog. It's so weird, I feel that feeling again. What? Like that, that like... Don't get air again. Okay. Don't get what? Don't get air again. It's so awful to actually think of, like... You know, I think... Regardless of whether this is the furniture or not, this is the floor, or this is the house. Right. This actually happened. You know, for the sake of... This experiment we're doing, mm -hmm. I say we don't film it and we turn off that camera light. Yeah. We I'm keep okay this light on. Yeah, because, no, I'm okay with that. Because I think that light's going to mess with what's going on. I kind of don't want to talk about this on camera, but it's like I, I got up and I went over and I started playing the piano in the uh, living room where our sleeping bags were, and I just started just bawling, like, um, and it kind of, kind of messed me up a little bit as a director, as a creator, a writer, um, I think the last episode we did, uh, The Assistant, where this girl, this girl goes and kills her boss, like, it was just this direct, awful tragedy, and, um, it made me, it was something that had happened in the Velisca Axe murder house that made me want to do an episode like that without a twist. There was just this direct, obvious, horrible tragedy. So we decided to go back upstairs a couple hours later, and when we were upstairs, we start hearing things. Jess? Yeah. Will you uh, explain what we keep hearing? Like a scratching. To me, it sounds like it's coming from in this closet. But I, but it's. I think it might be the house creaking. And we and we heard it in the, the attic, mm -hmm. and then we heard it in this room, and uh, and I thought it was coming from the stairs. It was very consistent even when we're not moving. So we're gonna be quiet now, and maybe it'll maybe you guys will hear it. No, there it is again. I like it was on the bottom of the steps now. Because before when we first heard it. It sounded like it was by us. It yeah. Like it's going down the stairs. It's some sort of. I bet it's some sort of rat or something in there. Yeah. But it's moving that fast. I'm getting chills on my leg, my right leg. You feel that? Like a shuffling? No. It's right here. It's the house. It's like it's moving. So I just thought that. Like yeah. Thing Be careful. Oh. Because it's a feeling that spreads. You just felt that, right? Yeah. Like a big rock. I feel like it's. 
Yeah. There was a little rumbling afterwards too. No, it's like it's, it wasn't a shake. It was like a doo-doo. You guys listen. I'll explain when we get downstairs. Come on, Joey. It's all right. Just breathe in through your nose, Joey. I'm not leading you up here. It was stupid what we did in a way, like thinking that it was nothing was going to happen. I mean, I didn't believe in, I, and I, I still don't believe in ghosts. I don't, I'd never seen a ghost, so how could I believe in a ghost? Um, but what I do know now for sure is that there are such things as hauntings. And um, a haunting is like when you go into a, a place, like a house, or like we did, and you have these emotions um, really strong, like sickness and sadness, um, that don't belong to you, and they belong to the place. I'm really curious if you guys believe in ghosts, or you believe in hauntings, um, or if you believe that we experience something that's unexplainable.